We're all here today to witness the marriage of Renee and Miguel. Although they haven't known each other that long, they knew this day would come, and so did we. The love they share is unique. It is strong. It's already passed the test of separation, different timelines, and competing priorities. They have none, because their priorities are one another. And for that reason, we're all here today, in this moment. Today, I walked down this aisle with tears of joy in my eyes. Not just because I'm marrying the love of my life, but also because on that aisle, there is a finish line. We just crossed it. We have overcome one of the hardest times in our lives. We had to be states apart for over a year while we were both working the hardest we've ever had. And on top of all that, we had to deal with many more obstacles that were thrown at us in that time. But we did it. The future we've worked so hard for is finally here. This is our fairy tale ending. If we are now opening up a new book, one where I'll get to fall asleep and wake up next to you, one where we will build our home and a family and all of our dreams together. To some people, being with a single person for the rest of their life seems crazy, but being with you even for an eternity doesn't seem long enough. Renee, on this day I take you as my wife, loving you with all your faults, your beauty, your perfect imperfections. just kids when we fell in love, but people tried to tell us that we were too young to know what love was. But we did. We knew from the very beginning we would spend forever together. I promise you I will always fight for you no matter what, and I promise you that I will always be by your side through thick and thin, old and gray. I promise to be your, your best friend your partner, your shoulder to lean on, your biggest supporter, and your husband. I promise you I will cherish you and love you loyally forever and always. Today we will not say till death do us part, because not even death will part us. Our love has the power to work miracles. Therefore, I know and pray that when our time has come, we will go together. I cannot express the joy and happiness that I feel for you, my son, Miguel. Mijo, I adore you. I'm so proud of the man you are, and I cannot wait to see the greater man you will become at sight of this beautiful young lady you have chosen as your bride, Renee. Daughter, I cannot express how much I love you. Thank you for loving my son the way you do. We love you so much. You know that I thank God every day that he gave you to me, like you say, Mary. And um, now I thank God that he's given Miguel to you. Then by the power invested in me, by the world's most precious woman, and the most upright man I've ever met, I pronounce you man and wife. Miguel, you may kiss the bride.
They have a lot of stories together. One of my favorite ones is Miguel stored his car at our house once and while he was down in training. And it's a stick shift, kind of hard, and she was having a little bit of trouble, and she had Miguel on speakerphone. And she said, do you think I can do this? And he said, I think you can do the whole thing. And that right there showed me, you know what? As long as they can teamwork, we'll be just fine. You will forever be my love, my protector, my hero. I will love you forever and always, Miguel Martins. <laughs>